Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, uh, and today is all about unboxing the Cisco SG350X 24 gigabit port. It's a stackable managed switch, a layer 3 switch. Uh, I'm definitely not going to do a review on it or a configuration slash installation on this particular switch. Why? Because I need to get it up and running for my 9 to 5 job. One of our layer 3 switches went down. Uh, it's still running. But uh, it's not a gigabit layer 3 switch, so we're replacing it with this guy. Great price. The retail price for this guy was around $1,200. It's not that bad. Uh, let's open this guy up. I know it's kind of a sucky video, just unboxing and all that good stuff. But you know what? A lot of you guys like that unboxing porn anyway. So uh, let's open this guy up. So I won't speed up the video like I normally do when I do my unboxings, but I'll take my sweet time taking it out the box for you guys. So inside the box, we have our cable to connect to it. This is our console, do terminal, uh, really old school. I love doing it this way. If you like doing the commands within Cisco, this is the way to do it. We have our uh, power cable and we have our brackets. And then we also have our little cushions to put underneath. I normally don't use these guys. I always use the bracket. I will hook up the brackets with you guys as well. Let's take this stuff out of the plastic. I am going to set this up real quick. And keep all this stuff awesome. So they got they give you a couple of set of tools. So the set of tools that they have. These guys right here, the small ones are for the bracket and the long ones is for your LAN room, for your rack. Sometimes the long ones don't fit. <laughs> so if you have special, if you have like a special rack uh, system within your LAN room, most likely you have those screws. Just make sure it fits and keep it nice and secure. Uh, like again, I don't use this little guy. So put that to the side. Throw that to the side. I definitely need this stuff and put this to the side. The console uh, Ethernet uh, cable. I'm not going to use it right now. I'm, I'm going to use it later. I am going to take this out. Power cable. I'm not going to power it on because uh, if I power it on, I definitely need to get a laptop, get in it, start configuring. I don't want to power it on and then I have to unplug it. Ugh. Like I don't like. I don't want to do that. It's always that 50-50 chance that you could corrupt the switch doing something like that. It's like you're plugging in a flash drive in a computer, and then rather than doing it the correct way, like going inside the taskbar and then clicking on it and then ejecting it, you're just removing it. It's not a good way to do it. All right. So let's remove this junk out of here. This junk out of here. We don't need the box anymore. And here goes the beautiful Cisco SG350X 24 port gigabit stackable managed switch. Woof, that's a lot to remember. Uh, we have our quick start guide. Now there's two ways to configure this switch. You can either use the old school terminal way, or if you want, you could plug in a laptop. Uh, doesn't matter which port, because automatically I think it has DHCP server enabled. And you could uh, set up your laptop with the IP address. I think it's like 192.168.1 something. So this is a startup guide. Yeah, so automatically turn the page. There's a section right here. So it tells you straight off on page 7, set up the IP configuration on your computer. It has to be in the subnet of 192.168.1254. Once you set up that range, uh, you could get into it. By default, the switch is set up with 192.168.1254. So the laptop or computer, you could get maybe like 250, 253, plug it in, and then you're able to use the, the web GUI. So most likely that's the way I'm going to do it. I don't know. I might go old school and do the terminal way because I love doing it that way. Got to brush up the commands. And inside the little bag, we also have a couple of things. Technical support contacts. This is kind of horrible because if you don't have a contract with Cisco, they won't help you at all. But it does come with a warranty, I believe, two or three year warranty. 
a uh, little manual right here for your product information refer to these URLs and your end user license agreement I don't have an option to press OK on that <laughs> all right I'm gonna put that to the side let's take this guy out of here awesome all right, pretty standard with the SG350X, 24 ports. Uh, you got your 24 ports, they're all gigabit. Uh, the last two right here is 10 gigabit. You also have two slots for your SFP Plus. Awesome, and these are your 10 gigabit ports right here. You have your USB port right here, and then you also have uh, your LED lights for your system, your master. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so I am going to take my trusty tool right here. I'm going to find my Phillip screwdriver. And we're gonna hook it up with our, our brackets. Cool. And I'm gonna do this side first. Take these screws out. Cool. So I'm gonna hook up this stuff up because I want to uh, rack it up on the lamb inside the lamb room, right? I wanna rack it up in the lamb room, and then once I have it, hook it up to the lamb room. Uh, most likely, I might. I don't know. I'm debating what to do. I would like to hear from you guys. What would you do? Would you do the old school console way, do terminal, and then configure it with the you know the commands, or would you take the easy route? and just configure a laptop with the same subnet. Again, this uh, switch, the 350X, uh, the SG350X is already automatically configured with DHCP and the default IP address is 192.168.1254. So that means you could use uh, a browser like Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, it has to be the latest browser. And just make sure that the laptop is configured in the same subnet. And then when you enter that IP address of the switch, you're able to see the web GUI. Now, I'm not going to show you guys that because, again, like I said, I need to get this guy up and running as soon as possible because uh, the switch is on its... The switch that I have right now in the, my LAN room, it's on its last leg. And that's, our, that's like the worst, our worst nightmare as an IT person, right? You put a lot of band-aids on stuff, and then eventually it's just going to go kaboop. So when you got the replacement, get it up and running, get it working, do your testing, and then place it up, and that's it. All right. I got it hooked up. I'm going to rack it up in my LAN room, and that's it. Just the unboxing, setting it up with the, the brackets, and that's it. A super simple unboxing. Hopefully, it's not a disappointment. A lot of you guys are gonna get angry with me. You're like, why didn't you put it on? Why didn't you show us configuration? Uh, whatever. Uh, I do appreciate you watching it and probably leaving negative comments right below. But if you're not a negative person and you like the unboxing, uh, leave a comment right below. Make sure to hit that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.